All right, uh, I'm hoping that his nickname Lightning Pole isn't for a really good reason right now, because I think things are going to start going down. Always a pleasure to see Sean Majumder. He's on a national tour. This tour has 22 cities. It was just sunny. It was just sunny five seconds ago. Excuse me, you're going to have to wait out there. We're doing a TV show. Can you people please go over there? Thank you very much. This is Vancouver, though, man. Right here. I love it, dude. Did, did you miss this while you were gone? I love this. I absolutely love this. California, if, if this happens in California, the entire city shuts down. Yeah, yeah, man. Really? <laughs> they tumble in, explode. What are you talking about, California? You just spent the last basically year of your life in Detroit I City. I know, Detroit City, they can handle this. Yeah. This is nothing. In Detroit City, you show up, they stab you, and then you're like, okay, I'm in, this is good. People have this idea of Detroit, and I've spent a little bit of time there. It's not really what you expect. Like, no, they've got some deep culture there too. They have such a strong history. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is one. It once was the greatest city in the United States of America. Yeah. And you know, around 50 years ago, it all just started. That was when they were the highest. And all of a sudden, you know, with the with the, all kinds of stuff, racial issues, the riots in '67, the white flight, now the auto industry tumbling. You know, it's ta they've taken a hit, but what is so incredible to see is everybody in Detroit, the people of Detroit, they band together and they're right. like, we ain't going to die. It's almost like right. Newfoundland. I know I've, I've compared this to Newfoundland before because, yeah. you know, in Newfoundland, it's all about the community and staying together even yeah. in the hardest economic times. And Detroit was very similar. Yeah, you get forged by fire in a way, I think, yeah. sometimes people. And, it, and it, everybody assumes that it brings out the worst. But I think a lot of times, so the people that remain wherever it is, it brings out the best in people. Now, right? that's not to say Detroit doesn't have a lot of bad areas. With poverty and with, like, you know, economic depression comes some death desperation and yeah. you see it there amongst the crime I mean, we were hanging out with a lot of homicide detectives during our Detroit 187 run and and some of the stuff that I saw like it is uh, a shame that show got canceled because it was like the gritty police drama man and you were playing a guy that I think probably would have stunned a lot of people that are familiar with your work in Canada that's right because he was just kind of talking about blood force drama and gunshot wounds yep. and yep. <laughs> that's what detective Vikram went through on a regular day that's what I did no I loved it that character is one of my favorite characters I've played so far and you know it's hard when it's kind of nice because in Canada comedy everybody knows me is doing stand-up and 22 minutes and all kinds yeah. of fun stuff Robson Arms yeah love that show uh, and uh, but in the United States they're not they don't know that I do Raj so Binder. To reinvent they don't know bit. that yeah. I do a sweaty yeah. East Indian <laughs> commentator. And I go in and I just audition for stuff straight and they're like, Wow, he's a very talented dramatic actor. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> <laughs> You are doing something that I think is rare in acting period. Yeah. Uh, so you're down there, you do Detroit one eighty seven, then you come back here and you're doing your first full cross Canada big theater tour. That's right. That blows me away that that's never happened before because I always assume that you did those every couple of years because no. I used to see in the just for last. Yeah, right. right. I've done to I've tour. done tours before, but I've not done my own theater solo tour where it's my ugly face on the poster. Yeah. And uh, come see me. So you go from dramatic acting and you hop back in into like the full on comedy routine. How's that? How's it's challenging. That? Yeah, I can it's imagine. It's definitely that. a different headspace, but it forces you like it keeps me on my toes and keeps me in the moment because you know one thing when you're doing stand up like we've done we did Nanaimo last night. We've done Tofino a few days ago. Tofino was in a little bar. We did a benefit show for this, this Majumder Manor project I'm doing. Yeah. But that was like a little bar, like with a thing. <laughs> and I was up there for two hours. And then I did like, you know, Victoria and Nanaimo. And uh, it's a big theater. Yeah. A lot of gray hair in the audience. <laughs> and all of a sudden you have to adjust. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a great experience. Keeps you sharp, right? Keeps you sharp. You, you, you can't be like, oh, okay, these guys are, stoners they're not going to get it. To former stoners. Former stoners. <laughs> expat stoners. <laughs> uh, tell us about Majumder Manor. You're basically building your own eco lodge in your former school, which is something I always dreamed of. Yeah, going yeah. back and buying my old school. That's right. So Majumder Manor, it's uh, it's going to be on the W Network, uh, a yeah. 12 part oh, documentary w series over the next, starting in September maybe. We're yeah. we're still trying to figure out exact because it all depends <laughs> on what's going to happen with getting the money to build this thing. Yeah. We're still in the process. We're, we've got an architect designing it right now. Um, a little backstory, I don't know if I told you this before. First of all, where's Fiona? Oh, uh, where she's, is he, where is she's Fiona? in a, you'll, you'll love this answer. I like that it took him this long to notice. You will love this answer. <laughs> Fiona Forbes right now is at a zombie convention in Orlando, Florida. Yeah, I, mean, I figured that. <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> a friend invited her to go to a zombie uh, thing, and and so right now, I, amazing. Like, literally, she will be dressing to go to a zombie pool party right oh, now. Oh, that's imagine be Forbes messy. dressed as a zombie. Oh, it's kind of hot. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie hot. to you. I bought the school for twenty seven hundred dollars. Uh, the property, it's on the ocean. Amazing, amazing Good location. Vibe. And originally, I wanted to build a house. I just wanted to build my own little house. Yeah. Maybe have Dave Suzuki come down and we shoot like a, a really cool documentary how show about green how to build a green off the grid house yeah. and, and you know lead by example that way now it's evolved into I want to do the same kind of building you know I want it to be a net zero building a very environmentally conscious um, have Dave Suzuki still come down and hang out uh, and then I want to take that the suits, building right? I mean, these suits. <laughs> he's my man if you're watching David please I'm very excited to bring you to Newfoundland I don't know if he's ever been to Newfoundland either uh, I'm sure he has right? so the idea is we take this building it's going to be a five room eco lux lodge upscale with a fantastic world-class kitchen the money that comes into that building goes right back into the community nice. so that the community can sustain its newly formed tourism infrastructure so we're starting to reinvigorate this entire really cool. community and like i said all the money is going back yeah. in it's not going to be i'm not like you i don't want to go out and buy a, a yacht and buy my own helicopter you and your rich suit that's why i'm still, do you know, do you i'm know, keeping it real look at me do you know how disappointed you're going to be when you see me get in my vin minivan and drive away all right Right, wrap up. No, you no. got your tour that you're going on. You can go to shamanjumder.com and check out. There's a little blurb about it there. If you are so inclined to donate, all that money is going right back Very into nice. this community. And it's a stunning community, man. It's a beautiful yeah, little spot. Beautiful and I land. invite everybody to come to Newfoundland. If you haven't been, come to Newfoundland, come to Burlington, and we're going to be building over the next summer. Uh, it's going to be awesome. You might meet David Suzuki. I'm just saying, he may be there. I hang hope, it out. I hope I dream. The D Sues. The D Sues. Thanks, brother. It's good to see you as always.